North Carolina, USA. She is a first generation Liberia American and she goes to the Willow Spring High School in North Carolina. She has a passion for volunteering and doing community work. Nyla heard about the gas tanker that exploded in Totota in December 2023 and she was deeply saddened by the incident. But she did not leave it there. She immediately decided to take that opportunity to mobilize funding to help those who were victims of that incident. And from our understanding, some of the victims were brought to Phoebe Hospital. A lot of them burned victims. So she went ahead and started to raise funding so that she could help those who were hospitalized at the hospital. So today we have come to do a donation that is mainly medical supplies and drugs that will cater to burn victims. We know that there is only one victim left in the hospital, but that Phoebe went into their own resources to be able to help those who were affected by the, the tragic accident. So the supplies are here to cater to that patient but also to help those who come to this hospital who are burned or any other patient who needs assistance. We have come today with supplies that is worth in US $2,680 and that includes gauze, gauze bandages, silver dean, cover dean oint or, or, or solution, we have also brought a normal saline, examination gloves. We have drugs. We brought erythromycin, toxicity, uh, ibuprofen, vitamin C, and these supplies are supposed to cater to those who are burned. We communicated with Dr. Rick some time ago, and she was able to supply us with a list of things that would be needed for those burned victims. So today, Dr. Riggs, we are pleased on behalf of Nyla Bush, this 14-year-old activist who has a passion and a heart of gold. We have come today to make this presentation to TV because people. So, I want to say thank you for all the help of the group, the staff, in my own I want to say, extend our gratitude and thanks to Ms. Bush for this kind gesture. She has to do something with a heart of gold. That be age 14 and saw the needs to be of help to the needed. And you know, Phoebe Hospital is situated in a community that the other privileged come here. So even though we have just one burn victim, but most of these things can be used for other patients. So it's going to help the hospital in catering to other people that come that are also in need. Okay, because there are many persons who come here without money, and once we have to make their things, we use it for them. Okay, so um, for the record, we had like 103 patients that were brought here, the brand patients, which is the first 65. One died the very night of the 26th of December, and then we had the 38 left. And we have been treating them until we are left with one. And um, for the past few years, we have not been feeding for patients. But when the brain victims were brought here, we decided to start feeding them because they were all from one other time. It's almost an hour away from each. So there were a lot of things that were done here for the brain victims that were not usually being done for other patients. Yeah, so we say, please extend our gratitude and our thanks to Ms. Naila Bush. We are so grateful to her. And I was telling you, I said, well, she started it early. But I think she's going to be a great leader. Yes, especially her work is more with community work. That is something that we don't do here in Liberia easily. We wait for the government to do everything. But a child who thinks that community activism is important, okay, she's going to be a part of it. Extend our thanks and peace to her parents in fact. Okay, because I know Nala does not work, even if she did. The money that was raised to purchase these things was not from her own pocket. There were others that chipped in. So we want to say extend our 
thanks and appreciation to everyone, the people of America, the people of Liberia, of family, of friends, and even you who took your time from way more than this morning to come and present this day. So we say thank you so much. Extend our we are so grateful and gratified for this time that you have Thank you. Of drugs and medical supplies for the hospital because of the beating that young Naila saw and she 